let's start by creating a folder for this class and then putting the files that we use for this class into that folder and figuring out sort of how we're going to think about our file organization. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do, and I'm using my PC, although this will be very similar for those of you on Mac, um, is we're going to create a new, I just right clicked. See, I do this. I always do this. I always cheat. And then I don't tell you what I'm doing. I just right clicked on my desktop. I'm getting a new folder, please. Thank you. New folder. We're going to call this digital rendering as that is the name of this class. Okay. Um, so this is where I'm going to keep all of my stuff for my various projects in this class. Let's open that guy up. Great. Okay. So now I'm in my new folder and it's empty. The first thing I'm going to do is create another new folder inside of that folder. Um, I'm going to call it zero one. Um, and the reason I do that is so that when I'm sorting by name, all of my projects stay in the right order. So zero one is going to be the self portrait project. Okay. Um, while I'm here, we're going to go ahead and create zero two, which is for your coloring page um, that we're going to deal with in a second. Um, so let's do another new folder and it'll be zero two coloring page. Okay, and I don't have to have it be a capital A, but we'll fix that later. So inside of your self-portrait project, I want you to make another folder, and this is because in the main self-portrait project, you're going to have your Photoshop file, um, and then we're going to have a folder inside it where we're going to collect a bunch of our source images. So we'll just call this 01 source images. Great. Um, so next step is I want you to collect some visual research, some source images for this project. All right. So digital rendering, self-portrait project, source images, go to the Googles. Hey Googles. If you click over here, images might be an option for you, or maybe I set mine up to be that way so that images is an option for me, but you want to search Google images. Um, and where I would start is those words that you guys found on your in, in your identity inventory, right? Um, those are some great places to start in our, in our search for some images that might relate to ourselves and our self perception. Okay. So I might do teacher because that's one of my identities. Okay. So in that case, you know, I'll look through these. A lot of these are like other people who happen to be teachers, right? But they also have this, these great like chalkboard backgrounds. So maybe that's what I would actually want, right? To, to be like, I'm a teacher. Okay. So maybe I say chalkboard or maybe I click one of these other idea things, right? So let's change it to chalkboard. Um, so maybe I'll take one of these like math, chalkboard images. Okay. Um, we have some different ways to download this image. So if you right click on it, there's a save image as that's the one I'm going to choose. Um, but you can also get it some other different ways. All right. So it ha it comes with a really long, annoying title. Um, I'm going to put it inside of digital rendering, self portrait project source images, and I'm going to change the title to something that's going to be more clear for me. Okay. So I'm just going to call it chalkboard and hit save. Okay. Now it's downloading. And if I come back over here, there it is. All right. So things for you to think about as you're collecting these images. Um, I want you to think about, um, the stuff you're interested in. I want you to think about your elements of design. So think about line, shape, color, value, form, texture, and space. I would also think about a variety of types of images, right? So I think you would want some that are textures, right? Some that are color palette, some that might be a place, right? Those are really useful to you. Um, but don't just like give me, 10 pictures of a sunset because those are not going to collage together. Okay. The ultimate project goal is kind of a mood board. Okay. So we'll be using a bunch of resources from a bunch of different places to 
pull together um, a, a single idea that communicates you as a person, okay? If you want to, um, and it's optional, but totally a possibility, you could include a picture of yourself, like a, a regular photographic selfie type portrait as one of those images, okay? And so then we could think about different ways we'll collage all of these things about you um, in and around your own face, okay? So that's also an option for you in this self-portrait project. Um, so 10 images, think about collecting together a variety of images because then we'll have some really great material to work with. Cool, okay, so that was step one. Now, when you have all of those put together, you're going to switch down here to picture mode. You see that, that little picture of a, of a picture? Um, and you can do this on a Mac too. And if you don't know how, just like message me and I can walk you through that. I want you to switch it to picture mode and then take a screenshot and that will be what you submit to the assignment for me. Okay, so it'll be like, I've got my self portrait project in my source images and then pictures in a folder and that's how I know you've got that part done. 